hello and uh, welcome everyone so in this video we are going to talk about a little further on sqlize this will be the last video on sqlize after that we will move back to our graphql implementation okay we will uh, we'll move back to our original topic which is writing the graphql apis sqlize we are just understanding so that we should be able to manage the data in the different tables okay so in this example i am going to take another set of entities like order customer product and we'll try to understand a little more okay so till now we were using a sqlize sync utility like we were writing a connection dot sync and we were able to create the database right so now what we are doing is we are turning off that feature we, we are not going to use the sync functionality sync what sync is doing sync is looking at your schema models and generating the entities but that is not the right way i mean in the production you will not be doing this in the production you will be writing migrations and all these things and you will be creating the entities you will also be using migrations for creating the relationships that is the most important point because in the documentation you will not find that much how to define one to one one to many many to many relationship in the sqlize migration okay so what i did i removed the previous migrations and i turned off that sync feature so and i added just a simple connection connection check uh, sqlize dot authenticate what it is doing it is just telling me okay my db connection has established and i'm good to go okay so what we will do is we will write our models but we will not run the mic we will not run them we will not do a db sync so our schema models will be simple we will be using product order customer payment and then we will define the associations okay so what we will do is uh, we'll define the simple models so i will be just using my existing code so here we have a create order this is my order okay i have a primary key auto primary key uuid not auto incremented okay default value is uuid now if i wanted to create another entities like uh, i have a order similarly order will have a customers payments entities so i can define all those entities this is order order belongs to models dot customer so we also need a customer sorry for the typo customer dot js here we have payment and we have what else we can have payment a tag product dot js okay so these are the models we are creating so first one we created is an order so another one will be a customer so it's like a customer and order has the same relationship like we have a user and post so this is my order and i can create a customer okay let's just rename it to customer and here i will define the association of customer customer dot associate customer will have many orders as many order okay simple this is a sqlize models i'm writing not it has nothing to do with the migration sqlize doesn't generate migrations based on the models models are totally separate these these entities i will use in the code to just lazy load and fetch the data or creating inserting updating okay this is my customer so it can be a customer name an email simple okay customer is associated with order so we are done with the customer and order similarly we have another entities which are like payment payment will have association with order because and it will be one to one so payment has Okay, something is missing. I think the closing brackets. Okay, 
module dot exports order and the payment payment has a one to one relationship with the order so customer will place many orders and individual orders will have the payments okay this is how we can read it and maybe one another which is the order with the products okay so product entity like uh, here we do have a product so sorry this is order order will have many products so this is order order has order belongs to one customer and we will also have order dot has many products and products we have to define so this is sequelized model and i'm defining the association there okay i think product is not defined so we can just copy this and we'll define the basic things and in the product so product will have the name of the product and title amount should be fine okay yeah i mean the product and product price should be a good option and it can be integer okay decibel is fine okay now this product is having many to one relationship with the order okay so this is order has many right so order will maintain the primary key and the product will have a foreign key because single order can have a many products okay uh, define cell we'll take a look on to this so currently we are just defining our schema models so i defined order i defined payment i defined product product is having association payment has one order okay so we need to remove this we don't need this association and this is product not payment okay product has a name price and i mean if you wanted to define the relationship again product you can say product belongs to uh, order but that is fine so these are basic definitions we have placed in so what all we have created we have created one order order has the association with the customer okay so customer may place many orders but order will belong to customer so order will have a foreign key of customer with it okay similarly the other entity we have defined is the payment payment will have a one to one relationship with order order one order will have one payment and then we have has many like order belongs to a customer and order will have a many product order will have a many product here you can see has many or belongs to and finally we had just a last method which is belongs to many so product belongs to many order okay so there may be a tag also we can create so this is uh, how we can define so there is another entity which we are calling as a tag and product belongs to so it is little interesting product dot associate models and product tag okay okay so product belongs to in pro individual product has a tag like okay uh, it's a retail product or brand product or i mean maybe a shoes maybe a shirt or something so there is a category or a particular tag we have defined so product belongs to many so these products can belongs to more many tags right so we will be creating one tag dot this and tag will have just a name and basic information you can create tag tag will have a name and description that's it right so we have defined all these schema models but it doesn't mean that we have created a migration the the importance of these is not related to the migration but the migrations will be created based on these schema models only so initially we decided okay these are the different columns we are going to have this is how our application will behave right 
so we have defined all these tags entities and we can also define the relationship of tag with other entity like tag will also be associated with the models uh, tag will be associated to the products so we can define it tag dot associate product okay and there is another entity it is going to create i mean there is a menu to menu will always uh, have a third entity which is pass through so there is a product tag we have created and product and tag will have a product id and tag id in this particular third table because it's a menu to menu relationship so tag is associated to product product is associated to tag so you can see this in product is belonging to many tag tag is belonging to many product okay so this is sqlize schema we have created now what we are going to write for these sqlize schema we are already reading them if you see this index.js is reading all the schema models now what we will see is how can we define the associations because we are not running the schema sync sqlize schema sync which will create things automatically so what we are going to do is we are going to create a migration so for basic migrations will be a, okay let's create all these tables create order create payment create product uh, and uh, product tag and customer these entities we will be creating okay so i mean uh, rather than making this video lengthy i will cover that that part 2 in the next video